He's the warrior you heard of in Legends, pure of heart and awakened by fury. He is Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Snook, and today we are going to take a look at the brand new Super Saiyan Goku coming to SH Figure Arts, courtesy of Tamashi Nation's 15th anniversary from Tamashi Nation's World Tour. And guys, the Goku we're going to take a look at today is a remake of the 2015 Awakened Goku. I've got the original right over my shoulder here. I'm going to take a look at all the differences, also the price, and also how you're going to be able to get this figure. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but right now I want to jump right into the photos and take a look look at this amazing figure so first off what we're gonna take a look at is all the photos take a glimpse at what is actually going on in this figure what's a little bit different we'll do the actual side-by-side -side comparison a little bit later but I wanted to just point out the hair looks fantastic it's almost got like a sparkly gold it's very pretty and then of course he's got his gi all torn up he's got two fighting hands and then also the straight lace face Looks very basic, looks like the original pretty much to the T. The next photo here is just the, him standing in the back. He looks menacing, he's got his two fists. Same face plate, I think, on this one. There's, you can see a little bit of the hair. It does look a little bit translucent. I'm not sure if it completely is. According to Tamashi in their description, it says originally released in 2015, this edition of Super Saiyan Goku has all new articulation and molding. Utilizing both clear parts and pearl coloring brings a whole new look to the iconic Saiyan. So that clear parts has to be his hair. I see nothing on his body here that signifies that it's clear other than his hair. So maybe his hair is translucent? I can't really tell without putting this figure in my hand. But looking at this one, I, it doesn't tell us a lot other than the fist and the, the same face mold. So let's move on to the next photo. In the next photo, we've got him in this classic Kamehameha pose. Kamehameha! Looks great, shows the 90 degree bend here. It shows his toe articulation as well. It shows how far in those shoulders that he can get his hands together to do the Kamehameha. We've got those Kamehameha hands. And of course we've got the yelling face. Looks great. I think it's gonna serve for anybody that has not got the original Awakened Goku. I think it's gonna serve that purpose because that is such a big part in the anime that this is almost a, a must have for people in their collections. In the next photo here, we get a close up of him. Looks great. There's that straight laced serious face again a little bit better look at the hair it does look a little translucent to me not a lot though i can't really tell the other thing that pops out on this photo for me as well is going to be the battle scars these tattered and battered scrapes on his body i i do not believe that if those were on the original as well we'll take a closer look at that one here in a second i'm digging it i think it looks great i think it serves the purpose of being that figure if you don't have him to put him in the poses to fight frieza at the end battle the only thing we need now is a 100 frieza shout out in the comments below if you agree but i think this was going to be great i think tamashi is Kind of going a little heavy handed on the Gokus, but I know this is like top one, top two iconic moments in Dragon Ball Z, that is. If people weren't able to get the Awakened Goku before, I know when I first started collecting a few years ago, that one was already at a print. So it was kind of hard to, for me to get it and I had to go to secondary markets like eBay and stuff to get mine. Take a look at the next photo here. He is freaking out. He is going full bore. I am the Super Saiyan Son Goku. He comes with the aura. So this setup, this figure right here is going to be very much like the San Diego Comic-Con Super Saiyan 2 version, where it's kind of a base Goku. You kind of get what you get when you get Gokus. They're very guess, similar in a, in, a, in a sense, but you also get the aura. So it's a little bit of a special package. You'll, it's going to be a little bit bigger box because you get that aura. I know these auras usually retail around $25 US. If you don't have auras, I know you can kind of get them like, in different colors like blue and red. I don't know if they sell those still. They might, I haven't seen them in for a, a very long time, but this comes in the package. I think this looks great. I think it gives another little special uh, event to it to get this Goku. And again, there's those fists. He's got his yelling face. So seeing these photos and analyzing them, I don't think there's gonna be a lot with him. I think it's gonna be the aura. I think it's gonna be your basic Kamehameha hands, fighting hands, fists, maybe two or three face plates. I think they're banking a lot on this being the Frieza Goku into the Frieza arc fight 
and giving the opportunity for people to buy them, the price has really got to be the sweet spot. And looking at the final photo is him just standing here. Again, fists. Face, same face play as we've seen before, so I don't think there's a lot of accessories here, guys. If you decide to jump on this bandwagon and get this figure, no, you're probably not going to get a lot. I've only seen maybe two or three face plates, two or three sets of hands, and of course the aura. If you do not have the original right here, if you do not have this one, the most iconic scene, in my opinion, is watching him go Super Saiyan for the very first time and him fighting Frieza. If you don't have this one, this is your opportunity. It may be a little limited, but this is your opportunity to get it without having to go to eBay for this guy. Now let's take a look at the differences between these two figures. I'll bring up my original right here on the screen as well and put these side by side. The four big differences that I see in this figure, starting with number one is his hair. His hair is that metallic-y, translucent-y gold. Like it looks different. The original is like a matted and it's not as vibrant in the original as it is in this one. I think that is the obvious biggest difference. Number two is gonna be a little bit below the hair right there, and it's gonna be his face molds. His face plates are the updated anime style face plates than the original. I think these look better on the new one than the old one, and that's just because they've gotten better at it over time. The third difference is gonna be the scuffs. The, right here, the battle scuffs all over his body. The original does not have that. I think it just gives a little bit of a character to the battle damage the battle damage Goku. And I think it looks really, really great. I think articulation wise, clothing wise, I don't think much is different. The, the last difference I think, and the fourth difference is probably the coloring a little bit. I think the orange is a little bit different. I think the blue is a little different. They talk about new articulation and modeling. I don't really see the differences here. Let me know down in the comments below if you see differences in here. I really don't. I mean, other than those four minor differences, again, I think they're banking right now on one of the most iconic scenes in the anime to sell this figure and it gives new opportunities for people to pick this one up. Now let's talk about release date and also when you can get him and how much he's gonna be. Now I believe that this has not been officially announced but I believe this is gonna go and coincide with ECCC, that's Emerald City Comic Con. That happens between the March 2nd and March 5th. I expect this guy to do exactly what the Super Saiyan 2 did, go up on P Bandai. I expected to hit P Bandai after Emerald Summer Comic Con wraps up. You'll see it hit P Bandai. I believe they're gonna go the same price rate. I believe this was also leaked. It's about $70. So exactly what Super Saiyan 2 was for San Diego Comic Con last year. So if you want this figure, look out for P Bandai. I expect that's where it's gonna be if they're gonna sell it online. And guys, let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna get this figure. Let me know if you already have the Awakened Goku. Is this enough for you to buy another Goku? And guys, hit the subscribe button add this channel to your collection and stick right here where we collect together right here on youtube i have been snook i'll see you guys in the next one